Hello, my name is Joshua Brown from the interview training company, howtobecome.com. And in this presentation, I will teach you how to pass your data analyst interview. So if you have an interview coming up for any organization, then please make sure you watch this video from start to finish because I'm going to help you to stand out and succeed. To achieve that goal, this is what we will cover. I will start off by giving you a list of data analyst interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I'll then provide you of example high scoring answers to those questions to help you to succeed. Plus, I'll also make sure to give you some essential tips for passing your data analyst interview before finally telling you how you can instantly download these slides plus 30 great answers to data analyst interview questions in a PDF guide. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your data analyst interview by giving you brilliant answers to the toughest data analyst interview questions. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button because this tells me you find these tutorials useful. Okay, let's take a look at that first data analyst interview question, which is a really tough one. It's a behavioral interview question. Describe a situation where you had to solve a complex problem with data. Now in your answer, make sure you pick an example that showcases not just your technical skills, but also your abilities to work cross-functionally, think critically and communicate your findings effectively. Now my advice when answering any behavioural interview questions such as this one and what I mean by behavioural interview questions are questions that start with describe a time when, tell me about a time when or please can you provide an example of when you demonstrated. Any question that starts like that is a behavioural interview question and I recommend you structure your answer using the STAR method. Now the STAR method stands for this, S is for situation so you start your answer off by describing the situation you found yourself in. Then you move on to T for task. What was the task that needed to be carried out? A is for action. What action did you take to achieve the task? R is for result. What was the end result following your actions? Make sure it's a positive end result. That's really important. And then finally, the final R is for reflection. What did you learn from the experience? That's a really valuable thing to add into your answer. So let's now take a look at a brilliant top scoring answer to that tough behavioral interview question using the STAR method. Describe a situation where you had to solve a complex problem with data. At my previous role, we noticed a worrying trend. Customer retention rates were falling. This was a complex issue involving multiple departments like customer service and product development. The stakes were high as dwindling retention rates could significantly impact the bottom line. My task was to use data analytics to identify the root causes of the customer churn and propose actionable recommendations to address it. The goal was to use a multi-departmental data set to find insights that could help us decrease churn rates. I gathered fragmented data from various departments, including customer service logs, product usage metrics, and customer feedback surveys. Using Python and SQL, I cleaned the data by eliminating redundancies, normalizing scales, and joining tables from different sources. I performed exploratory data analysis to find patterns. I then applied logistic regression models to understand which variables were most predictive of customer churn. Two variables stood out, frequency of customer service interactions and a specific product features usage rate. To validate the findings, we initiated A-B tests. One group got improved customer service, another got a refined version of the problematic product feature and the control group had no changes. I compiled the findings into a comprehensive presentation for stakeholders, explaining the problem, methodology, results and recommended actions. The A-B tests indicated a 17% reduction in customer churn for the group that experienced both the improved customer service and the updated feature. This led to a company-wide implementation of the changes. This project was a vital learning experience for me and the company. Not only did we manage to reduce churn rates, but we also demonstrated the power of data-driven decision-making. It led to better collaboration between departments and set a precedent for tackling complex, multifaceted problems.
Okay, the next data analyst interview question is, describe your experience and how you feel it has prepared you for this data analyst role. Wow, a really tricky interview question. And you can be the standout candidate by focusing your answer on the following things. Number one, the skills and qualities that you have as a data analyst. Number two, your relevant experience and passion for working in the role. And finally, how you're going to add value to their company. That's really important and a great way way to do all of those three things is to make sure you study the job description and focus on telling them how your skills are a perfect match to those that they desire. So for example, if on the job description they state they're seeking someone who's analytical with great communication abilities, then throughout your data analyst interview answers, be sure to use those exact terms. So let's take a look at a brilliant top scoring answer to help you. Describe your experience and how you feel it has prepared you for this data analyst role. In my prior role as a junior data analyst at ABC Tech, a software as a service company, I honed critical skills that prepared me well for this data analyst position. I managed data collection and cleaning, performed exploratory analysis using SQL and Python, and utilized Tableau for visualizations. This technical expertise is crucial, but equally important are the business's insights I gained. I worked closely with marketing and product teams to focus on key performance indicators, transforming raw data into actionable strategies to improve customer retention and user experience. Besides technical acumen, my role also improved my soft skills. I frequently presented findings to various departments, learning to communicate complex data in a relatable manner. This experience was invaluable to shaping my understanding of how data-driven decisions impact different facets of a business. I've learned to balance analytical skills with effective communication and business acumen, making me a well-rounded candidate for this data analyst role. I'm confident that my comprehensive skill set aligns well with the requirements and responsibilities of this position, and I am eager to contribute to more informed and strategic decision making at your organisation. Wow, that's a great answer to that interview question. Now, don't go anywhere as I still have more interview questions and answers to give you, but when you're ready and if you want to, please click that link in the top right hand corner. It will take you through to my website howtobecome.com where you can download my 30 data analyst interview questions and answers for all organizations to give you the edge in your interview, including the ones that we're covering right now. Okay, here's the next data analyst interview question. How would you assess the performance of a product or service compared to competitors using data? Now, this is a question I'm seeing come up more and more often. My advice is to concisely outline the steps to assess product performance compared to competitors keeping the focus on key elements such as KPI identification, data analysts and actionable insights. That's a really important one. Let's take a look at a top scoring answer to help you. How would you assess the performance of a product or service compared to competitors using data? Here we go. To assess a product's performance against competitors, I'd first identify key performance indicators KPIs, like customer retention, revenue growth and user engagement. I would collect this data for our product and obtain similar metrics for competitors from public sources or third-party reports. Using SQL and Python, I'd analyze trends in these KPIs and visualize the findings using tools like Tableau for easier interpretation. Benchmarking these metrics against competitors helps identify our strengths and weaknesses. For example, high user engagement but low retention might suggest our product is initially appealing but lacks long-term value compared to competitors. I'd conclude by presenting these insights to stakeholders with actionable recommendations aiming to leverage our strengths and address weaknesses. Okay, the next data analyst interview question is, why do you want to be a data analyst? When answering this question, make sure to highlight your strengths and passion for wanting to be a data analyst. My advice is to relate your answer to being able to make a positive impact on a company and your enjoyment for being analytical and working with data. Here is a brilliant top scoring answer to help you. 
Why do you want to be a data analyst? I want to be a data analyst because I find immense satisfaction in turning raw data into actionable insights. Data is often referred to as the new oil, and I believe that accurate data analysis is key to understanding and leveraging any aspect of a business or research initiative. I'm fascinated by the idea that we can use data to tell a story, identify inefficiencies and propose solutions that have a tangible impact. During my academic career and past work experience, I've been drawn to both quantitative problem solving and collaborative team projects. Data analytics perfectly combines these elements. On one hand, I get to delve deep into numbers, identify patterns and use statistical models. On the other, it's not just a solitary endeavor. The insights derived are used to make strategic decisions and for that, effective communication and teamwork are essential. I'm also excited by the dynamic nature of this field. New tools and techniques are being developed all the time and there's a continuous learning curve which I find incredibly stimulating. I'm eager to contribute to a field that's not only intellectually challenging but also at the forefront of technological and business innovation. Okay, let's move on to the next data analyst interview question, which is what makes a good data analyst? Now, this question is being asked to assess your capability to explain the fundamentals and techniques of a data analyst, such as great technical ability, being able to communicate clearly to non-technical stakeholders and to be able to continuously learn. That is really important. So another tip here, remember a thoughtful response not only demonstrates your understanding of the importance of a data analyst, but also your ability to successfully navigate challenging project environments. Again, let's take a look at a great example answer to help you. What makes a good data analyst? A good data analyst possesses a blend of technical skills, critical thinking and effective communication. Technically, they should be proficient in tools like SQL, Python and data visualization software such as Tableau. These skills enable them to collect, clean and analyze data efficiently. Critical thinking is crucial for understanding the business context for selecting the most relevant methods to draw actionable insights from complex data sets. However, Technical prowess is not enough. A good data analyst must be able to communicate their findings clearly to non-technical stakeholders. This involves not just the ability to create compelling visualizations, but also to articulate the significance of the data in strategic decision-making terms. Finally, curiosity and a willingness to continuously learn are vital. The field of data analytics is ever evolving with new tools and techniques emerging regularly. A good data analyst stays updated and adapts to keep delivering valuable insights. Okay, so if you want to get the full list of 30 data analyst interview questions, and if you want to accelerate your learning even further to pass your interview at the first attempt, is to please click that link right now in the top right hand corner of this video for two reasons. The first reason is it will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com. We can get all of these answers we just covered, plus a total of 30 brilliant responses to data analyst interview questions. And secondly, the next reason is I've given you three smart questions to ask at the end of your data analyst interview on that page. It's a brilliant resource guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your interview and also more importantly, put you ahead of the competition. I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their job interviews and I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please also hit that like button because this motivates me to create more videos just like this one. Oh, and finally, please don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I have put my LinkedIn link in the description below. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best with your data analyst interview. Have a brilliant day.